Bye. Bye. Bye, Ray. Bye. See ya. See you in a couple days, guys. We're going leaf peeping. You don't know what leaf peeping is? And you go and watch the leaves fully peeped. Oh. Bye, Mackie Moo. The leaves are already starting to fall. Mackie Moo. Good boy. All right, guys, here we go. To Lake George, New York. The leaves are supposed to be just as good as they are here, which is surprising. Usually they fall first, and then in this area they fall. It's about a three-hour drive. It'll probably be dark when we get there, so we'll go to a restaurant or whatnot. But we'll vlog it, and um, I'll check in in a minute. Here. Mom, did you like the full foliage on the way here? Foliage? <laughs> did you like it? It's nice, right? Yeah. Some good shots of the fall leaves. I can't say that word. How do you say it again? Foliage. Foliage. <laughs> Not even gonna try anymore. We saw the quick check. We had to get gas, and we're just gonna get something quick at quick check to eat because we're getting a little hungry. And then we're gonna go to a nicer restaurant when we get to Lake George, which we're about two hours away from still. So. We had a little bit of traffic, but it was okay. Once we passed it, it was nice. But the leaves are, oh, they're beautiful and they're, they're getting nicer and nicer and nicer. The sun's going down, so we're not gonna see them as good anymore, but they're getting really nice. We should get really good shots to leaf peep 2022. <laughs> and Oktoberfest 2022. Fall 2022. Vlog. All right, gas almost done. And I'll figure out what we're getting. Quick check. I'm like, who's coming near me? So we got fried dill pickles, my fave, and hell of a good French onion. We're gonna be in the room for two nights, so they're not just all for right now. It'll do the trick. Now, two more hours, and we should be there, and we're gonna find a nice, good restaurant to go to and review. See, like, people are just walking the Spain app like nothing. That's cool. Still people like walking this main strip like we're on the main strip right now our hotel and there's still people like just walking randomly like cool it's after eight o'clock at night so looks like people are up and about and ready to have fun and it's very lively I didn't think it would be this lively but it's very lively right now so a lot of the Hotels that we pass are fully booked or have a lot of cars in the parking lot, anyways. But we're here at the Georgian, right? Yeah, it's called the Georgian Lakeside Resort. So we're gonna check the room out and then find somewhere to eat. 
We are on the second floor. You can actually see the lake. We're down a little bit further so you can see the lake. It looks nice, but I can't tell. We'll be able to see tomorrow morning. Um, but it's a cute little like hotel, motel kind of thing. What is this? Motel hotel? Holiday Inn? <laughs> it's called a resort. A resort. Ooh. Fancy. So we'll check it out tomorrow, the grounds. It looks really nice. Um, but the new updated room is it's nice. Two queen beds, hardwood floor. Love the hardwood floors, you know. This looks old. TV, little desk area, mini fridge and microwave, the hall. There you go. floor. You got a lot of space. This is the door where you walk in. Then you got a lot of room for luggage here. The light switch is crazy right there. Nice lights. You got a little open closet here. You got storage under the sink area. Big mirror. Another full size mirror. And the bathroom, which is really nice. Clean. Shower head. Back of the door. It's nice. So the two highest rated restaurants around us is McGillis Public House, 137 reviews, four and a half stars, or 163 Tap Room, 350 reviews, four stars. I'm debating on. We're debating on which one to go to. I think we're gonna do 163 tat room because that's a lot of reviews, but I wanna look at the food on both. So this is the McGillis. Food looks pretty good. And then tap room. So this looks more like just, well, they have some food. Okay, see. We're going to 10 McGillis Public House. Alright guys, we just got back from dinner. We ended up going to 10 McGill Mick Gillis restaurant. It was pretty good. Um, the atmosphere, so we walked in and I immediately was not happy. The atmosphere is a little dated. They use black tablecloth coverings on their table, which is like, they didn't seem dirty though. Mom thinks they were hiding an ugly table. I wasn't enjoying it. Persevered, ordered food. Mom got the baked macaroni and cheese with buffalo chicken, which was real chicken, not like fake chicken that you see at other places. I wanted an open-faced turkey sandwich that they had on the menu. They didn't have it anymore, so I quick ordered a skirt steak sandwich, which I was not happy about, but the food came out and wow, 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 was it phenomenal. The skirt steak sandwich was so good. The fries, like mom said, they didn't look good. They were delicious though. And the mac and cheese with the buffalo chicken was fantastic. All the food was just phenomenal. Service, A plus. Mom just said before, they helped us with fall foliage, where to go and see it and everything. Like, it can't beat it. The whole tab came out to $103, that's with tip. And we were ordering really like local IPAs all night and stuff. I'm glad we went. Would I go back? Yes, 100%. This trip, probably not. I want to experience other things. But it definitely has, like, it's it set the bar very high for anywhere we go tomorrow. I would definitely rate it an 8 out of 10. But they gave us 
like awesome places that we can go and see full foliage full I cannot say that word anyways we're going to see that stuff tomorrow and we got some it's it's gonna be a good if you like leaf peeping if you want to see beautiful changing colors of trees and leaves uh, leaves on the trees this is a vlog for you it's coming up By a fire. We were just I by just a had fire. a dark beer and we were just by a fire. They're listening to us. Because we were talking about the beer and then we went by the fire. I'm like, you want to go back by the fire? So they're like, like okay, oh, dark beer, beer fire. fire. <laughs> it's a nice place. It's a nice resort we're in from what we saw in the dark. The lakeside rooms, they look cool. They're over there by the lake and they have like fire pit area by the pool. Very nice. Nice place. I love this place.